Welcome to Kite Safari, where we believe in living the dream. This video will take you through all of the steps in order to completely understand and use your trainer kite. All right, let's get to it. So you have your trainer kite. We have our leading edge. And we have our trailing edge. On the sides of the kite, we have our wing tips. And we have our pigtails with red on the left and blue on the right. Pigtails connect our bar and lines to our kite. Our bar and lines have pigtails that match the kite with red on the left and blue on the right. This type of kite is known as a foil or a ram air kite. It gets its structure from the wind filling up the cells of the kite by entering the openings on the leading edge. Our kite will fly in an area we call the wind window. We refer to the positions of the wind window like the face of a clock, with 12 o'clock above us, 9 o'clock to our left, and 3 o'clock to the right. There's more power directly downwind and less power at the sides. We will always fly with the wind at our back. The kite will only fly in the semicircle directly downwind of you, called our flying area. Let's take a look at kite setup. First, choose a flying area that's wide open. No obstacles or people should be in your way. Take your kite out of the bag and secure the bag with some sand on top of it. Open your kite up. and we'll put some sand on the trailing edge of the kite to hold the kite to the ground. Your lines may be connected to your kite, but if they're not, first let's remove the pigtails from the velcro strap on the trailing edge of the kite. You won't need to use the velcro strap anymore. We have our left and right pigtails. The pigtail coming from the kite has a knot on it. The pigtail coming from the bar and lines has a loop on it. We attach the two using a lark's head knot. The line with a loop on it, we will feed through itself. And now we're going to use our new loop to slide over the knot. Secure your loop onto the line, then push it towards the knot. Let's check that out again. Again, the line with the loop on it will be fed through itself. Make any larger loop. This loop is fed over the knot, secured onto the line, and then sliding the loop towards the knot. Now that your lines are connected to your kite, we can walk directly upwind of the kite taking the lines off the bar, making sure you're leaving slack on the ground. We don't want the kite to take off accidentally. After all the lines are off the bar, you can put a light amount of pressure on the lines and spin your bar so the lines become untwisted. When you can see both lines going straight to the kite without any twists, the kite's ready to launch. Your correct hand positioning will not be at the sides of your bar, nor in the center of the bar. You want your left hand in the center of the red and your right hand in the center of the blue, about thumb distance apart. We want to learn to fly with our hands relaxed on the bar, never gripping the bar tightly. Launching your kite. Now that we're ready to launch the kite, slowly walk away from the kite 
and the sails will fill up with wind. Your kite's now ready to launch. A small pull back will release the sand from the trailing edge, and away we go. You can also have somebody assist you in launching your kite. They stand behind the kite and pull the leading edge up to remove the sand. Basic flying techniques. When first flying your kite, try to stand in one spot and fly with your arms and hands relaxed in front of you. Have your arms following the kite from left to right as it travels through the wind window. What we don't want to do, start muscling that bar, and getting all crazy with it, and don't get frustrated. Your bar is controlled like the handlebar of a bicycle, pushing and pulling. Don't turn your bar like a steering wheel. This has no effect on the kite. The first time your kite takes off, fly your kite straight to 12 o'clock, then fly your kite between 11 and 1 with smooth and controlled movements. Keep the kite high in the wind window. It's easier to fly there. After a few minutes and you feel more comfortable, fly your kite lower in the wind window and feel the difference in the power. Fly your kite in figure eight patterns, traveling up on the side of the wind window and down in the center of the wind window. This is one of the easiest, most common ways to fly your kite. If you find yourself being pulled off balance, sit down in the sand, it'll make things much easier. When you gain more control, go ahead and stand up again. Relaunching your kite. Well, your kite's gonna go down. These trainer kites are meant to relaunch themselves. If your kite goes down in front of you, you're going to take one step forward, let the kite lay on its back. The wind will go underneath the kite and turn it over for you. There's nothing to do with the bar. At this point, you're going to take one more step forward, the wind will get underneath the kite again, and your kite will take off for you. It's not a perfect system, but it works pretty well. Remember, step forward towards your kite. Take a step forward, and the kite will relaunch itself. Do not pull back on the bar. You'll just drag the kite on top of the sand and potentially damage it. There are some situations your kite may not relaunch. If this happens, put your bar in the sand, only grab one line, and walk towards your kite. Don't grab two lines, your kite could relaunch. Place some sand on the trailing edge so the kite won't relaunch. Now walk back to your bar and relaunch your kite. You can have somebody assist you with launching your kite. Grab one wingtip, let the kite rotate 180 degrees, and release the wingtip. Let's take a look at some advanced flying techniques. Try to fly your kite with one hand. Make sure your hand is directly in the center of the bar. You can use your thumb on the bar for better leverage. Practice turning your kite as sharp as possible. Turn your bar 90 degrees. Notice the kite has less power the sharper you turn it. When the bars return to the straight position, the kite will return to traveling straight in the direction you stopped it. When you get really good, try flying on one leg. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to teach you a lot about balance. Try flying your kite in perfect squares in the wind window. Flying like this will put a few twists in your lines. Your kite will fly exactly the same. After about three or four twists, just fly your kite the opposite direction to take the twists out. Also try flying your kite in large perfect circles. Smooth and control is the key here. 
Flying your kite randomly is easy. Being specific is your goal. Try flying your kite just a few inches above the ground from the right side of the window to the left side of the window. Try flying your kite in figure eights while turning down on the outside of the wind window where there's less power but going with gravity and your kite will travel up through the center of the wind window where there's more power while it's going against gravity. This will produce a smooth, even, consistent pull. Landing your kite. When you're ready to land your kite, you can land it to a friend. Make sure they're standing outside of the wind window so you don't hit them with your kite. The lines can sting a little bit. After they grab the kite, they can bury it with some sand so it won't relaunch. If you're landing the kite by yourself, you can put the kite down directly in front of you and grab one line and walk towards your kite. Make sure your kite is secure by putting some sand on top of it so it cannot relaunch. Let's wrap up. When you're ready to wrap your bar and lines, bring all the lines towards the center of the bar. Wrap your lines around the center of the bar two or three times. Wrap your lines in your bar from end to end in figure eight motions. This will prevent them from getting tangled next time you fly your kite. When you get to your kite, put your bar and lines in the sand. Use one of your knees to restrict the kite from taking off. Fold your kite in half from wingtip to wingtip and then again fold it in half from trailing edge to leading edge. You can set your bar and lines on the wingtip. You can wrap the entire kite around the bar. Now your kite's ready to fly next time. Now that you've mastered your kite, let's take a look at one more fun idea. Kiteboarding, it's what we do. Thank you for choosing Kite Safari. We'll see you at the beach.